Water will be dumped into the launch platform in a few seconds to help suppress the sound and shock and the thrust produced by the shuttle at launch. T minus 15 seconds. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. We have a go for main to start. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery on a mission to study planet Earth. Houston is now controlling. The rolling maneuver is complete. Discovery is now in a head down to the new level position. Territory is now in a mile away. Delivery Thirty-four seconds into Discovery's eight and a half minute climb to orbit this morning. All three main engines now throttling down to 67% of rated thrust as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum aerodynamic pressure on the vehicle in the lower regions of the Earth's atmosphere. Telemetry indicates all three auxiliary power units and fuel cells continuing to perform well. Discovery now downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, three and a half miles at an altitude of about seven miles. Go at throttle up. Copy. Go at throttle up. One minute, 22 seconds into the flight, Discovery's three liquid-fueled engines are now back at full throttle, 104 percent of rated thrust. Discovery now traveling at a speed of 1,900 miles per hour at an altitude of 16 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 13 miles. The next event will be the burnout and separation of Discovery's twin solid rocket boosters. Again, telemetry currently indicating all three main engines, auxiliary power units, and fuel cells continuing to perform well. Discovery now at a speed of 2,800 miles per hour, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 27 miles. seconds into the flight. Discovery, performance is nominal. Copy, performance nominal. The booster officer here in the flight control room confirms good separation of the solid rocket boosters and Discovery's performance so far in its flight has been as expected. 